Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Are you up and ready to roll with your day? We are working on our morning routine right now, getting all those little things finished up to get our day going and start on the right foot. The first thing you need to do each morning when you get up is just turn around and make that side of the bed that you slept on. Get it taken care of so you don't even have to think about that again. Um, the way that I do it, I make my side of the bed, get up, get going with my morning, and my husband makes his side of the bed, and then when I go back in there, it's like magic. It's done. So if you guys are struggling with getting that bed made, maybe there's somebody still in the bed when you get up, you can still straighten up your side of the bed. That seems to work best for me because when I go back in later to get dressed, I'm just not ready to remake make the bed or any of that. I'm just ready to get dressed and move on. So, good morning, Sue. Great to see you. I can remember the years, though, when we co-slept and had little ones, and it seemed like such a waste to go ahead and make the bed knowing that afternoon somebody was going to be laying down again for nap time. But still, even if you're in that stage of life, I encourage you to go ahead and make your bed. So, tell me what you've got on tap today for a plan and play day. What do you need to plan that you need to take care of later in the week? Is your menu plan finished? My menu plan is done, but I'll be honest, we've already moved stuff around in it. Not a big deal. I have the ingredients. We just shifted a few things around, and we had chicken last night because the chicken was thawed and ready to cook, and the hamburger meat for the beef stroganoff was not. So, there you go. Made a decision, and it's not a big deal. I'm dressed down to the lace-up shoes. I'm ready to go to a meeting this morning. That's why I'm here so early. But I wanted to talk to you for a minute about your bedrooms. I've been talking about that a lot on Facebook, on my blog. And deal with your stash and dash today. That stuff that you've dumped on the dresser or on the chair or if you've got a treadmill in there. The stuff that you've dumped. Let's deal with that today. Put it away. Donate it. Trash it. Whatever you need to do. But our bedrooms become that catch-all because somebody's coming over and we go around the house gathering things and it gets dumped in the bedroom, we slam the door, and then we forget about it, right? So today, let's deal with that for 15 minutes. If you don't have that much to do, check your dresser drawers, do a little decluttering there. Deal with the closet some more. I'm sure there's something you need to deal with in the bedroom. Um, the other thing that we're gonna work on today is dusting and vacuuming. And I know those get put off because I get emails all the time from people who have put off the dusting or put off the vacuuming and it's this big thing to do. 15 minutes today, guys, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do it. Dust around the stuff on the flat surfaces and move on, okay? Good morning. Hey, Arrington and Lily. Great to see you guys today. I miss playing the Fly Lady Premium Games with you guys, Latia. So tell everybody I said hello today and have a great day. It's freezing cold. I haven't complained yet, but I'll go ahead and tell you guys it's 18 degrees outside. It's hot in my house, though, because I've got a little space heater right here beside me, and it's kicked on, and I'm actually breaking a sweat here. But outside, it is very cold. Um, so, the southern people, were not enjoying it. I know that it's actually cold in Charleston this morning, Myrtle Beach. I've got um, friends and family on the coast today, and they're like, it's really cold out here today. So, it needs to warm back up to our nice southern temperatures. I'm not sure if I told you guys meatloaf is tonight. I got my hamburger meat thawed out overnight in the refrigerator. And we are going to mix it up with some healthy ingredients. And we're going to have meatloaf tonight. And, of course, a salad. And last week I bought several different types of frozen vegetables to fix as our sides this week makes quick and easy and they retain more nutrients when they're frozen versus canned so that is the plan tonight sue says it's nine degrees there and that's just a little bit cold i'll just tell you guys i'm not big on really like single digits mm -mm, not at all and tammy good morning to you so you guys have fun i'm going to go wipe the sweat from my brow here and i'm going to move on with my morning before i have to leave for my meeting I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's anti-procrastination day tomorrow. So, you know, while you're working along today doing those zone missions, if there's something you've been avoiding decluttering, go ahead and do it today. 
pat yourself on the back. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, Deborah put a post. Let me read it real quick. Uh, she says, nine degrees in Rhode Island. Oh, vegetable barley soup is for dinner, and it's already in the, it's kind of stopping there. Crock pot, is that what it said? I can't read it all, but this is a great time of year for soups, stews, and chilies. And um, meatloaf is kind of on those comfort foods, so that's why we added that to the menu. I think one of you guys last week said you were having meatloaf and decided um, I needed to put that back in rotation. So have a great day, y'all, and I will see you tomorrow.